Bata, it's me again, Kuya Neil, ang mag storytelling para sa ngayong hapon. Ngayon ay mag aaral tayo patungkol sa ating character trait this April about faith. So, um, before we start, tayo muna ay mananalangin. So, ipikit ang ating mata, tungong ulo, ang naong Diyos, takila sa lahat. Maraming salamat po, Lord, sa araw na ito na ipinigay niyo po sa amin. Lord, bigyan niyo po akong wisdom po, Lord, sa pagturo po, Lord, about faith. Patawaran niyo po kami, Lord, sa aming mga kasalanan na kinawa. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, tara, simulan na natin ang ating story. So, we are going to learn a story in the Bible about our character trait, faith, in the book of Genesis. And the title of our story is Sarah giving birth to Isaac. So the Bible story begins on Genesis chapter 17 verse 15 when God talks to Abraham about his wife Sarah. God said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be from her. So God said to Abraham that he and Sarah will have a son. So Abraham laughed and questioned himself, shall a child be born to a man who is already 100 years old and Sarah who is 90 years old. So Abraham laughed and questioned himself because they are too old to have a baby. So Sarah is already 90 years old but God said that she will bear a child. So Abraham replied to God that Abraham would be happy if you would bless Ishmael as my son. So, um, may anak na si Abraham at ang pangalan niya ay Ishmael. 
Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya that Sarah will give birth even at that age and Abraham will name him Isaac. So the story goes on and we can see he in the chapter 18 that one day three men appeared to talk to Abraham. Abraham then uh, without hesitation he walked to the three men and invited them to be fetch wash their feet while resting under a tree. Abraham then go to Sarah to make a meal. Abraham then ran off to fetch a calf tender and good so they have a meal to prepare and they did it. So the three men asked where is Sarah? So Abraham replied that she was inside the tent. So one of the three men said um, that this time of the year Sarah will give birth to a son. Sarah was listening to this conversation. So as we know Abraham was already 100 years old and Sarah was 90 but God promised them to have a son that would be named Isaac. Isaac. So when Sarah heard this, she laughed silently to herself because she was too old to give birth. Then the Lord said unto Abraham that why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, can an old woman like me have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year. Sarah will have a son. Sarah was then afraid, so she denied it, saying, I didn't love. So, but the Lord said, No, you did love. So, after this, they just, um, the story goes on, and they just keep trust God and have faith in Him with this promise. Then, on chapter 21 of Genesis, um, Sarah had given birth. To a son. So Sarah became pregnant and gave birth to a son that Abraham named him Isaac. Isaac in the Bible means he loved or he will love. So what can we learn from the story about Sarah giving birth to Isaac. So as we know, Sarah and Abraham was old. Abraham was 100 years old, while Sarah is 90 years old. But God had promised them, even at that old age, Sarah will give birth to a son that Abraham will name Isaac. So we can see here the faith of Abraham and Sarah to keep trust in God on his promise. So as we know naman na wala na capability ang mga malatanda to give birth to a baby. So kahit na ganito, ang Panginoon ay promise kay Abraham at kay Sarah na magkakaroon sila ng anak at i-bebes niya. So, makikita natin dito yung faith na they just trust in God, have faith in Him without any question. So, they have trust and have faith in God. So, God had given them a son. So, yun lang ang ating story para sa ngayong hapon. Punta na tayo sa ating memory verse Na Genesis chapter 17 verse 16a and I will bless her and give thee a son also of her so yun lang mga bata proceed na tayo sa ating question and answer for our first question 
What is the title of the story? A. Sarah giving birth to Isaac B. Story of Abraham children C. Story of the three men or D. None of the above Number 2 What is the memory verse? A. Genesis 16 verse 17 A. B. Genesis 17 verse 16 B. C. Genesis 17 verse 16 A. Or D. Genesis 16 verse 17 C. For the third question, what is the name of Abraham's wife in the story? A. Sarah B. Hagar C. Ishmael or D. Isaac Number 4 In the story, how many men appeared to Abraham? A. 5 B. 2 C. 1 or D. 3 For our last question, what is our character trait for the month of April? A. Courage B. Faith C. Trust or D. Obedience So that's all. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig.